Hey everyone, it's Team Rocket Place here with another episode in our Minecraft Bedrock Let's Play. So for this episode, guys, we got a few things to do, like always, right? Um, so I've been gathering a bunch of leaves, you know, chopping a bunch of trees, as you guys can see over there on the other side. There's like a little baby horse and... You need to be careful because those trees are growing. All right. So last episode, I gave an update since it's been a while since I last really played on the server. Um, and I said that I wanted to do a tree and I want to place this tree right here. Um, I think it's a good spot right there. I intentionally uh, made it a little bit further than it was before because it used to be along this right here. So I was like, you know what? Let's add something right there because just having water around just I don't know. It's not aesthetically pleasing. And then we got the horse over there trying to check it out. I guess he's uh, reassuring that it's safe to go over there. This dude. Uh, but yeah, so let me go ahead and get a rough draft of how I want it. And then we can go ahead and add all the leaps. So I got this so far right now. And I don't know if I want to extend this branch. But I wanted to do it at an angle. Oh man, I was going to push him down. Uh, but I don't know. I think I like it like this because I did want it going over the water uh, Just so I don't know it could just take away from it being so open and add a little bit more You know something more interesting because it's gonna cast uh, some sort of shadow over the water right here and also uh, Kind of hide this thing under the the castle because I'm gonna make it like a tunnel some sort of tunnel and Like some sort of sewer, you know, we can have something down there and maybe a way down into the cactus farm. That might be a way to go down there. But I think I like it so far. And I know. So I'm trying to make it interesting in the fact that it's realistic in a way. And what I mean by realistic is just the way, you know, the support uh, that it would require. Uh, obviously, having a nice piece of uh, land right here makes it work. So I kind of want to now uh, find a way to really attach it and anchor it to... Uh, the floor right here um, so obviously if it was attached to around here we probably would see some of the roots maybe going in like this and I might actually oh I wasn't I wasn't planning on this to be honest but have the roots I don't know kind of like come in and then kind of dig back inside somehow yes all right all right all right I kind of like this uh, you know, having the roots kind of protrude. I don't know if that's the correct word for it. Um, but just having them kind of go into the... Yeah, that's actually going to work. All right, all right. I, I like it. I like it. I like it. So just, you know, having it go inside and just showing a little bit more detail right there. Um, that kind of works. Okay, I added a few more roots over here on the top and I... I don't want to remove the dirt that I use in order to place those just because I know I'm going to need it. And I don't want to take it down just for the video. Uh, and the reason I would do that is just so you guys get a better idea and a, a better sense of how it would look. And I know it looks like a lot. It looks like a really big, thick tree. Uh, but once we add the leaves, I think it's all going to make sense a little. Uh, so I made some changes down here. I just didn't like how it was just so... I don't know. There's so many lines, you know, I didn't want it just to make it all straight. So now I added a few more and I don't know. I think this works because it just gives it that support. Right. And uh, I might change this into a different type of wood since it's inside of the dirt. Obviously, it would be covered. Maybe if I make this into like a spruce wood or I don't think dark wood would work. But I might replace that later on. But now let me just add the leaves and uh, hopefully it looks good.
okay 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 what's my first impression my first impression is i like the way it hangs right it hangs out i kind of like the way that i like this angle so something that i like to do when i build something is i kind of go around and just look at it at in different angles and see um if there's any you know you want different right you don't want the same thing in every single angle you don't want to look at it and just be the same way all around i think it's too basic minecraft um so having different angles different things different branches i really like how it looks so one of the things that stood out uh, obviously this angle is not something that you're gonna see too often um but it still it still looks pretty good and something that i'm tempted to do is extend the leaves you know a little bit over but if they're dripping like this i don't think that would be puffing now you know it, it just wouldn't make any sense and something that you might have noticed already is that i'm using two different types of leaves i'm using regular oak and dark oak uh just to give it a little bit more of a I don't know just a little bit different and it, that way it's all not just you know one single color um so before this i could see all the way through the castle i didn't like that so i just covered that uh gap right there and i might remove that one right there because it's too blocky but overall i kind of like it it looks pretty good um i think once i start uh, terraforming all around this area i could add a little bit more details uh, but so far for now, I think, I think this should be okay. So I said I wanted to remove that one. All right. So let's go stare at it before it gets dark. And, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Yeah. All right. So it's not that blocky anymore. Um, now it doesn't stand out. It just looks, looks a little bit better. So not bad. I like it. All right. So here we go. Just took a bunch of trees down. It actually took a while and this is one of those things that I enjoy doing for whatever reason It's just one of those things that's just peaceful to me and I don't know It's probably just hearing the sounds and whatnot, but I kind of enjoy taking down trees a little bit too much Right now I'm just gathering some wood for the supplies for our smelting room and uh, I went a little I got carried away look at this a full almost a full inventory of it uh, let me just clear some of these areas so this one could grow as well and uh, i don't know i kind of like this area right here i got it set up where i could just plant uh my that's not gonna work I'm gonna go right here just take that out because it's not gonna grow if there's like blocks around it the spruce wood at least um but i have a a few trees around here and then i just have some scaffolding to get on top of the trees because i i used to do it from the bottom and just staircase all the way to the top and then go back down but just having some scaffolding like this where you could just go up and just go down it makes it a little bit more i don't know efficient and a little bit more satisfying so yeah so i got this all right and then i have my little chest over here let's just leave this and let's head out because i do have the area all planned out so this is where i put everything else like the sticks and whatnot all right let's go figure out where i could place a door somewhere around here to the outside because i don't have any doors leading to the outside uh yeah that's something i need to plan out because flying here yeah i mean i could just fly right and it's a little bit laggy guys because we got so much stuff uh, loading i'm also hoping this year i get a new computer that's able to handle you know the game's a little bit better but so i got the area planned out that i'm hoping to get and i'm gonna use uh this right here so we got some smokers to smelt the kelp and i'm gonna figure out a way to maybe get the the kelp from down there all the way up here and just use this uh non-stop uh i might get rid of the one on top because i was thinking like where could i do this right um or or we could just look for a a room and have everything you know smelted all the cactus yes i think i'd rather do that than have it here never mind i changed my mind all right guys pretend i never said that uh but yeah so i went into creative uh got the layout of the how many blocks there was in this room and i figured out a good way to have everything smell and using the smoker is probably our best bet the reason i went to go get all this wood is because we're gonna need 
uh some hoppers and in order to do that we're gonna need a ton of this right here a ton of iron hopefully i have enough um i don't need a crazy amount but you you know since we're here we might as well make a good amount you know what i mean um all right so where the hopper set i almost got the cauldrons am i missing something how come they're not here uh craftable low low oh do we have to go to the specific one no i don't think that's a thing why can't i make a hopper oh you need chest for a hopper all right guys yeah i'm a noob all right it's early in the morning i'm sorry whatever reason it's not showing up for me to be able to craft chest automatically here um i don't know what's up with that uh feel like that should be a thing that should pop up here but it's not so that's kind of weird all right there we go just get some more items all right so now that we have our chest it's still not showing up what's wrong with oh they're right here all right so i'm just gonna create all of them and yeah like i said it's a little laggy i don't know why um it seems to be a little bit laggier than normal uh i i wonder if that's full already the kelp that is and it's all struggling uh, we need a crafting table as well, so let me come down here, and I believe we should have one in one of these chests. Alright, and it seems like we don't, so we got the wood in order to make it. Let me just get rid of some of it, because, yeah, there's no way we're going to need all this wood. Alright, there we go. Just take a stack, just in case, and uh, let's get it started. Alright, so I forgot I needed some chests, so let's just go ahead and make a bunch of it. Actually, I'm glad that I brought the extra wood, because we're actually going to need quite a bit, because we're also going to make a storage uh, system, right? So let me just make all of these into chests, there we go, and then craft the rest back into blocks, but for whatever reason, they're not showing up to auto smelt. And of course, I'm doing this wrong. <laughs> <laughs> oh man it's it's been a long day all right guys even though it's the morning but i kind of feel sick so uh, i'm gonna blame it on that all right so we have the holes right here that we're gonna have uh, the kelp fall from and we're gonna do this five blocks from this one right here so this is gonna be one two three four five and then this is where we're gonna start placing our chest um like this and then we're gonna leave two spots from this side so uh right there now i need to look for a good way of just placing these because it's kind of hard to really tell uh like the middle ones if they're actually facing in uh let's see could i get a good angle at this i can't get a good angle okay right there all right so they seem to be all pointing to that all right so the way that i have it here guys is that we're gonna have two double chests of all the resources that's gonna be smelting which in this case is gonna be just kelp and then down here i'm gonna have the storage for it so once i turn it into blocks i could just have like a giant storage and uh, i think this should be enough um and yeah so now that we have uh this i need to place more on here it took a, a few more than I actually thought it was going to take. So now that we have that, we're just going to add the smokers. And there's a total of eight. Actually, is there a... Uh, I think, yeah. I was going to say, is there like a better way of facing these? That way, uh, it's a different texture. But it might be a good thing that we actually see them working, right? That way, we know which ones uh, are actually working. All right. So now to place hoppers in the back. And now that I'm getting close to finishing them we might need oh that was perfect and i didn't even plan that all righty all right so now i just need to insert all the mine carts and the rails um and then just some more hoppers so i am gonna need more hopper uh hoppers uh than i thought so i got a good portion of it i still need to decorate and hide it but i want to try it out so i want to place one of these over here and hopefully it's just gonna go back and forth um so it's just gonna pick up the kelp from these hoppers right here and it's just gonna disperse them it's not gonna be evenly uh the ones in the middle are gonna get the least kelp but that's why i ended up putting two of these instead of just connecting it to one i decided just to make it two that way uh, both sides um at least get even the middle's not gonna be that much but 
now for the bottom at first i had designed it so i had the same thing happening where the minecart was just going back and forth and then some hoppers right here but then i was like why am i doing this why don't i just connect the minecart and just have it back and forth when i need it not necessarily uh going back and forth the whole time so uh that's one of those changes that i ended up making so now to see if this is actually gonna work uh let's go ahead and add it so let's just put it right here and uh, let's see if it comes back to us Oh, I was going to say, oh, no, what happened? All right, so then I have this uh, lever right here, or lever, however you want to pronounce it. And that way we could turn it off when we want to. So it's not always uh, powered on and going back and forth. So it seems to be working. And uh, yeah, it's all set, guys. So now one of the things that I need uh, to do is set up the kelp so it could go and flow into it because it's um, right now it's just going to the chest. So I need to uh, add an extra water stream in order to uh, bring it to those hoppers and just decorate a little bit. And we have this over here. Actually, let me go to bed really quick. All right, there we go um do you have anything for me sir do you have anything for me nope you got nothing Alrighty, but yeah so i need to decorate this area and i also need because uh i don't want to just have this here i also want this to be a smelting room in general so i'm gonna add some of those uh, smelting um furnaces right here uh not necessarily like an automatic one uh maybe i might add one i'm not sure yet uh, I might add one actually on this side and then just have a manual one on the left side that way uh, I got multiple right and just I'm just gonna fill this whole room the thing is that it's not that big it actually looks fairly big but once you start adding things here it's just gonna take so much room so yeah I need to be careful because <laughs> I'm just gonna have this uh, pathway at the uh, speed that we're going all right let me show you guys what I got working over here at the top and there's a drown right here that's really annoying me uh being down there uh so i need to figure out a way to close this area so this right here is where we have uh the kelp and you know what let's just go ahead and uh, i don't have any room um do i have an extra chest i do all right so this is a, a hack right here guys so oh it didn't connect why didn't it connect Oh, and now it ate it, huh? Ah, oh, man, and this is full. Did it connect? Yeah, it connected. So now it's just going to be picking it up. See, I'm smart sometimes. All right, so now is this chest facing? Which way is this chest facing? This way. All right, there we go. So now it's going to be uh, picking it up and placing it in the actual thing, even though we don't have any fuel, but at least this way, um, I could get that away without having the space. Uh, but I wanted to grab some of this right here and we're just going to be extending it. So I'm just going to cover this right here. Uh, once I, you know, clear everything, all these chests, cause I need to put everything in there. Um, we're going to have this running like that. So I'm just going to, uh, have the w water running down and into that. So yeah, we're going to get rid of that guy as well. All right, just to make sure that it's all working and we're getting the kelp down here, let's just go ahead and check. And we are, so 15, 16, 30. See, these are, get oh, this one has dirt. Uh, maybe that's why, because it couldn't go down. That's why on this side, we have way more than over here because it was blocking that. Uh, that would have been a good way to check to see if everything was going to be even. But if you guys are noticing, oh, another one. Oh, man. Um, hopefully, it's not going in here, right? No. Alrighty, so it has to be smelted in order for it to go down here. But yeah, so now once all this fills up, we're gonna be able to just get it going and start it. And unfortunately, we're not able to see because of those dirt how efficient it was gonna be. Uh, but yeah, so everything seems to be flowing pretty well. Let's see how full this is. Okay, so we could see that it picks up four. And then it just disperses it, so it doesn't even reach the middle. It doesn't seem like it, but it it is, right? Yeah, it is. That's kind of weird. Yeah, that's kind of weird. It doesn't seem like it, it, it picks up only like four, and then it goes one, two, three, four, uh, one, two, three, four. Maybe that's why. So it's going fast enough where it's not dispensing it into the same one more than one. So not bad. That was a, a happy mistake. 
All right, good morning, everybody. All right, guys, so it might look a little bit different and I might sound a little different as well because I've been sick for the last week. Uh, so you guys can tell my voice probably sounds like a morning voice, but no, it's actually like five right now, my time, p.m. Um, but yeah, so I ended up finishing the area right here. So here it is, guys. I don't know. I... I don't know why I use purple. I just want to use something else. And um, I, for whatever reason, used uh, purple uh, stained glass. And I just kept that. I was like, you know what? It's all right. Because this is just an area that I'm going to come in uh, whenever I have to smell something that's a little bit on the bigger side. Uh, so I did end up making three different types of furnaces. Um, one, we have this one right here where uh, I just feed it into this block right here. I had everything that I need to. I have smelted and yeah so it'll just run back and forth and um, this is just a regular smelter over here on the right side though uh, we got three of the I don't know what you would call these but basically uh, you would just have your items up here that you want to smelt. You add your uh, resources in the back, and then there we go. That's it, you know. And then you got your your other items down here. So I got one uh, of each different type of uh, block. So yeah, so we got these just in case we ever need um, specific items. And then here, if I ever have like a, a little bit more items, and then we got our main one over here, guys. That I've been just AFK'd. So yeah, you guys can tell I've been smelting quite a few items um so i need to make those into blocks and let me show you guys up here uh how i ended up making it um obviously up here this is an area that no one else is gonna see other than myself um but yeah so now is, everything seems to be working properly i did make some changes because i did actually connect the farm down there the kelp farm uh for it to go up here and and connect back with this area but i realized that it's too far away so it doesn't load so all the items that all the kelp that would uh, make its way down um it's not so yeah so now we're just running this one on top and i'm also thinking uh probably using uh the building next to me to add more kelp but at the same time i'm like i i got enough kelp you know i got enough going on so in the meanwhile i just been kind of doing some more plans um around the area of what i want to do also ended up moving my uh shulkers over here but let me show you guys downstairs so instead of uh having it connected to the bottom and it going to the top uh now i just have a bunch of chests down here that it's gonna be filling up and yeah so actually got quite a bit now um and i'm just gonna use this melter right here that i have this rotating one uh so i just have a bunch of chests where uh whenever i want like a lot or let's say that i'm not doing anything and i just want afk to get resources i'm just gonna stay here get a bunch of it and then i'm also just gonna get a bunch of uh these chests and then just place them over here with shulkers and yeah just have everything smelting and as i'm afk and i'm getting uh, kelp and I'm also uh, smelting it so I ended up just increasing uh, our storage down here as well so it's a little bit on the just I don't know messy side I guess but yeah so now we have all this to fill up and then on the right side I have these uh, to actually start placing uh, our full blocks once we actually make it into a block so that's what i've been up to guys but in the next episode i'm actually uh, excited because i've been doing more i've been making a lot of plans to work around the castle uh so that's something exciting that uh that i can't wait for next episode so i think we're just gonna end the episode here guys thank you guys for watching don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more videos and i guess i'll just catch you guys on the next one team rocket place out